Good morning. Today I'm going to discuss about, uh, I'm going to talk about cell division. Okay, any multicellular organism, uh, be it any complex organism like elephant or uh, human, human or an elephant or an oak tree, all are composed of millions or billions of the cells. So these cells, they have actually originated from a single cell. That cell is called zygote. So this zygote is giving rise to different types and uh, different number of the cell. And all these cells, they perform their uh, particular function. So according to the third tenant of the cell theory, we should be having a pre-existing cell that pre-existing living cell it will give rise to two daughter cells so here requirement is that we should be having a, a living cell okay so why do we need this division process uh, obviously we need this division process first uh, and foremost thing is that for growth and uh, development okay so we need to grow from zygote to the adulthood so for that we need this particular process second thing is to uh, repair the damaged cells damaged cells or tissues so over the life process this division process does not stops doesn't stop once an organism reaches to adulthood because uh, we are continuously facing different challenges so there will be abrasions uh, like our GIT track yes to intestinal track there is uh, acidus and other things so there is normal wear and tear wear and tear so we need to uh, replenish we need to make those cells we need to produce those cells similarly uh, some of the cells they have they undergo aging processes like RBCs they have their limited lifespan of 120 days and afterwards we need to uh, make those cells from the bone marrow so uh, this is important because we are dependent life processes are dependent on these cell divisions process cell division so in eukaryotes we have two types of division uh, one is meiotic division uh, one is let's talk about mitotic division mitotic division uh, another is the meiotic division. What is mitotic division? In mitotic division, as you are fully aware, that uh, like parent cell, we have daughter cells. They are identical in each and every respect. The DNA content over here in the parent and in the offsprings, it is the same. And all things are almost same they are exact copies of each other although there will be some genetic changes genetic modifications but overall DNA content will be the same while as meiotic division that is uh, responsible for the or oh, I have marker problem uh, okay so meiotic division we have this problem uh, meiotic division that is applied in uh, reproductive organisms, sexually reproducing organisms, a cell divides into four cells. So the DNA content is reduced to the half. There are two consecutive divisions we will talk about meiosis in the separate lecture. So for your general overview, this is these are the two divisions which are operational in multicellular organisms. 
okay coming to the cell cycle what is cell cycle cell cycle what is cell cycle obviously as the name suggests it is a cyclic event where a cell proceeds through a series of steps series of stages let us suppose we have stage one this is an example then it will go to stage two stage two stage three and it will go to four and then it will come back to stage one so it's a cyclic process so each stage each event is well demarcated so we are saying it is a cyclic process and once a cell proceeds through, uh, through this cell cyclic process we have production of two cells so one from one cell we are getting two cells so in case of meiotic division so that is called as cell cycle so you are fully aware you have already read that we have different stages of uh, cell cycle one if you will look the cells under a microscope you will find there is one almost dormant stage that is called as interphase and second stage is m phase so under a light microscope i'm not talking here about any complicated microscopy system or staining procedures simply light microscope you can visualize this interphasic cell and there is m phase cell interphasic cell it looks like it is not doing anything but it has a dna it has well demarcated nuclear envelope and then microtubules they are emanating outside and in case of m phase uh, in, if it is a mitosis so you have chromosomes at the center then you have bipolar spindle in case of open mitosis they don't have any nuclear envelope so these two stages are visible under a light microscope interphasic stage although it appears the cell is not doing anything but it is metabolically active stage active stage a uh, lot of synthesis processes going on dna synthesis is going on protein synthesis is going on because we need those uh, biomolecules to produce two cells and uh, when we when do we need those cells? we will be needing those in m phase and then cytokinesis uh, to produce two cells okay further i'm going to talk about these stages uh next questions to arise in the field where if i'm actually talking about the uh how these how we came to know about these stages currently we know there are different stages g1 as g2 and then m phase and m phase is also divided into different stages but how we came to know about these stages so let us talk about that so there is one experiment called as pulse phase experiment those experiments were performed in 1950s pulse phase experiments so uh if you have an asynchronous cell culture so suppose you have a petriplate petriplate so it contains cells cells are growing over there but they are asynchronous cells synchronous what do you mean by asynchronous 
cell culture they are actually in different stages we are not synchronizing them we are not putting them into one stage either s g1 m or g2 phase we are letting them to be as asynchronous as they can be so the cells are spread naturally in all the stages of the cell cycle so we have this petri dish we will pulse what do you mean by pulse we will inject radio labeled radio labeled nucleotide here uh, tritium h31 thymidine was infused uh, tritium label thymidine was infused and uh, you can well, well well you can very well understand this if we are providing thymidine it is one of the building block of DNA so obviously the only cells which are going to incorporate this thymidine they will look hot hot means they have incorporated the radioactivity those cells will be in S phase the rest of the cells uh, if they are in the different stages if they are not doing any DNA synthesis so obviously those cells will not uh, incorporate this uh, radio label thymidine so only cells which are in the S phase they will be incorporating uh, thymidine so then if afterwards, if we will observe, uh, if we will do autoradiograph and we will observe the cells that have incorporated porated radioactivity, if we will do the percentage out of total cells, total cells, suppose there were 1000 cells and out of 1000 cells you just pick the 50 cells uh, or you just pick the 500 cells obviously not 50 they will be higher because S phase is little bit of longer duration than mitotic phase so obviously uh, this percentage of the cells that have incorporated the radioactivity those this percentage will somehow tell us that duration of duration of S phase so we will get to know about the duration of the S phase how long this particular phase is we'll come to, we will come to know by this particular experiment okay now based on the cell number you got to know the duration of the S phase how will you know the total span of the cell cycle cell cycle span varies from cell cultural conditions and from the type of the cell which you are growing in the culture so there is variation from uh, one cell line to another cell line from one type of cell to the another type of the cell so we can get the total duration time if we will observe a cell once it goes from one cell stage to the two cell stage and we will note the time that should tell us the total duration of the cell cycle so from that total duration we got total uh, cell cycle time and number of the cells in S phase we got uh, we got the cells which are in the S phase based on the percentage okay well let's we will talk about it in the future lecture I will wind up this video okay